All right, anime creators, we're getting Dororo. Can we please get an adaptation of Phoenix now? Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to your Everyday Nerd, the B-Sides edition. I'm your host, Zack Snyder. On the B-Sides, we cover new and trending media in the same format as your Everyday Nerd, but they're in shorter, unsponsored episodes. As I work on my winter 2019 anime episode where I rank every new anime from worst to best, there's one show in particular that stands out to me. This is Dororo. Not only does it have beautiful animation, a captivating premise, and interesting characters, but it's an adaptation of a very old manga, and that's what intrigues me the most. For those outside of the anime and manga community, there's a certain manga creator from the late 1960s that is known as the god of manga. This is the one and only Osamu Tezuka. He's basically the Japanese Walt Disney. This single man created over 700 volumes of manga. His most popular works are Blackjack, Kim of the White Lion, and Phoenix, but the one that most everybody knows about is Astro Boy. Now, there's been quite a few anime adaptations of Tezuka's works in the past, but recently there's not been a lot out there. Out of the past 20 years, we've gotten three films, five anime, and one miniseries, with the majority of these being Blackjack and Astro Boy. There's also the 2001 Metropolis film that I do want to cover soon, but with Dororo being one of the newest anime this season, I'm really hoping that we get more of Tezuka's works adapted in the coming years. Now, I should point out that Dororo has been an anime before. This is actually a remake, but that original anime came out in 1969, so it's a bit outdated now. I am interested in checking it out, though, just for the hell of it. But let's briefly talk about this first episode, because I'm really looking forward to seeing what this show has to offer. Dororo revolves around two core characters. Hiyakimaru, who was born without limbs, facial features, or even internal organs after his father made a deal with the devil so that he could rule the world, and the other character, Dororo, who was an orphan child. Don't really know his backstory yet. The show then features both of these characters traveling alongside each other as they fight the very demons that Hiyakimaru's father had unleashed into the world. And that's the basic premise, and honestly, I'm really excited for this show. I've seen the first two episodes so far, and they're both very entertaining. I also accidentally read a little bit too much of the synopsis on the show, and I can guarantee that there's some stuff in the later part of this that's going to be super hype. But story aside, it's the animation that had me immediately hooked. I love Tezuka's simple yet effective art style, and to see that in motion is so beautiful. The OP alone has a lot of nods to his style, and it's so good. I'm really hoping that Dororo will be a success because one of my favorite mangas of all time is Tezuka's Phoenix series, which I'll have to do a separate episode on in the future. But while it did have some 1980s anime adaptations, these are really hard to find, so I'd love to have newer adaptations of those. Plus, the manga for Phoenix is out of print, so if the anime comes out, then maybe we'll also get a reprint of the manga. It'll just make life just a little bit better. But that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If for whatever reason you didn't like it, you can hit that dislike button. Go watch Dororo. The first two episodes are out. They're on Amazon Prime. Do it for the culture. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts on it are if you've already seen it. Go ahead and subscribe for more Your Everyday Nerd, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.